2.50 p.m. No wonder why winter is peak season in Dead Valley. Even though the temperature is nice, around 70 degrees, this sun is brutal. There is no place to hide either. It's finally going down though. It's about to be prime time for photography. I came to the Mesquite Dunes for sunset. I know there are better dunes in that valley, far from the crowds, but this is all I can do with the time and, above all, the car I've got here. There are still beautiful dunes and those mountains look gorgeous as a backdrop. It is a great place to make great images. 3.13 p.m. Yesterday's storm helped, but the bigger dunes are still full of footprints. I'm trying my luck on the more distant dunes. They are smaller, but there's no one around. I'm looking to make abstract images here anyway, so I don't really care about the size. 3.30 p.m. Shadows are starting to grow longer and longer. I must hurry. Listen. I love this near complete silence. It's so awesome, so calming, and so relaxing. This place is beautiful. This place is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Sunset and a telephoto lens. That's it.
So I've been taking uh, multiple shots of the same composition because I'm shooting with the Rockinon 1.4, I'm shooting wide open, and that means that the focus, the, uh, how do you call it? Ah, uh, I can't think of the name right now, but the part of the photo that is in focus is razor thin. And this viewfinder in the A7R2 is not the best viewfinder out there, it doesn't have the highest resolution, so sometimes it's kind of hard to know if what you are seeing is going to be completely accurate. Sometimes it might look like more of the photo is in focus or less of the photo is in focus. It's not easy to tell sometimes, so that's why I'm taking multiple shots, and then I'll just choose the one that I like the most, of course. Five oh nine p.m. I thought about doing some night photography at the dunes. The conditions are perfect for star photography tonight, but uh, I prefer to capture the moon, and this is a mostly moonless night. So I decided to head back to camp, try to do something from there. I just save energy for tomorrow's sunrise, my last day here in Death Valley. Five fifteen a.m. Three days and two nights. Not enough time for a place as vast as Death Valley. Choices had to be made. This morning, I'm heading to Bad Water Basin for sunrise. Even though I thought about going back to the dunes, I actually changed my mind a couple times on the weather. I even turned around, but ended up sticking to my original idea.
okay made it to Badwater the lowest point in the US North America not really sure I seem to be the only one here which makes me doubt my decision of coming here but in the end it doesn't really matter you have to choose one and just go for it Six oh nine AM I can't stop looking at the sky so beautiful the new moon the clouds six seventeen AM This place is going to be hard to photograph. What a place, man. What a place. Quite a view. So I'm supposed to be looking at 7.55 a.m. The dunes are still in my mind. I wish I went there instead, but a decision had to be made, and I believe that it was the right call at the time. I know it's not allowed, but the photo of this place would be from above, from the air, with a drone or something. It has to look so beautiful, all these shapes. It is a little bit harder to find something uh, ground level. I'm trying, but second guessing myself all the time about the dunes. Maybe I should have gone there. And I know, I know, I'm here, so I should forget about it, but it's not that easy, I guess. Well, I've uh, tried everything here. In any case, this landscape is about to completely change in a few minutes because the sun is rising behind there. You can see it back there where the line is and it's approaching very, very fast. So this whole flat is gonna be very bright uh, very soon. I don't know if that's going to make for better images than the ones that I've made so far, but uh, a change is going to be welcome for sure because I'm struggling a lot here. Still, it's an awesome place, an amazing place to be at. Uh, sunrise was pretty. I mean, not the best sunrise I've ever seen, but it's a sunrise in that valley. and It's not every day that I'm in a place like this uh, watching sunrise. So yeah, nine out of 10. Thank you. 
and just like that this whole landscape is completely different and even harder to photograph than before i think Eight fourteen a.m i'm starting to realize my time in that valley is coming to an end Nine oh five a.m. I give up. I've tried my best, but I can't see any more images here. Nine ten a.m. On my way back to the car, I find probably the best images of the morning so far. Ten thirty-five a.m. I'm leaving Death Valley right now. Ahead of me, a few hours of driving through beautiful landscapes. I will be stopping and making images as often as I can. Death Valley was not a destination, it was just a stop on this amazing journey I get to experience. A new chapter of that journey is about to begin. <laughs>